Hi everybody! Today I want to speak with you about one of the most beautiful cities in Switzerland, Lucerne. I have already visited the city twice and really want to share with you 15 things which you must do and of course can do in the city. Some of the attractions you can visit and enjoy completely for free. For others you have to pay a certain amount of money. So I'll give you some directions how much it might cost. Let's start from really simple thing. You can just walk throughout the city, enjoy the old town. And believe me, there are really things you can really visit and enjoy. For instance, there are lots of buildings in the city center with extremely beautiful paintings and you can find it not like in one, two or three buildings, it's really many of them in the city center. There are also lots of churches, nice cafes, some beautiful bridges, I'm going to mention them in a minute, and really many, many things. The city is not not that big, you can rarely walk through all the main sightseeings in the city center like in two, three, four hours. So depending of course how many pictures you want to do or whatever you want to look at. Besides just general walking through the city, I want to give you some guidance what exactly you need to visit. One of those things I really love there is the town walls and towers. They were used to protect the city in the past and still they are in the city center. There are nine towers and four of them you can climb. It is completely for free. Normally it is open during like warm period, most probably April to October. You need to check before you visit the city. But when you go there, you go up, you can really enjoy an amazing breathtaking view. You can see the whole lake, you can see Pilatus, so one of the mountains, one of the famous mountains actually in Lucerne, and the whole city is just in your view. I think it's a really must-have because it is completely for free, but you'll get so much great emotions there. Besides that, by the way, if you decide to climb on one of these towers, there is the oldest clock in Lucerne. And you can also see the mechanism of this clock. Another thing I really fell in love with the city for Kappelbrücke or the uh, Chapel Bridge in English. It is the oldest covered wood bridge in Europe. And most probably if you just type in the internet uh, Switzerland pictures, this bridge will be in one of those pictures like 100%. The bridge itself was built in the beginning of the 14th century and also when you walk through this bridge you could see the paintings of the 17th century, which basically represented the most important events of the Swiss history. However, some unfortunate thing happened in Lucerne in 1993. There was a big fire which destroyed most of the bridge itself and also paintings. You can still see uh, some of them, but you also see basically some parts where they were destroyed. Anyway, it is extremely, extremely nice, lovely bridge. During the day it's pretty crowded there, so you will not be able maybe to enjoy everything, all the details, make maybe amazing pictures, but if you want a little bit more privacy, just come to this bridge in the morning when most of the tourists still sleep, so even I believe at 8, 9 should be completely fine, or also even in the evening, because most of the tourists are already in the restaurants enjoying their dinner. But to make a picture, I believe, in front of this bridge is a kind of a must. By the way, remark here, so if you're visiting this bridge, and especially you are in the city like close to the weekends or on the weekends, exactly near this bridge there is a local market with the farmers where you can try or also buy some local food, for instance cheese, bread and some other vegetables. In general, it is pretty sweet to watch how locals come in there in the morning, buying some flowers, some vegetables, putting everything like on the bike and then driving that. Everybody knows that bridge and actually quite close to that bridge, maybe, I don't know, five minutes walk, there is another one, which is also pretty old, actually almost same age, but a little bit younger than the previous one, which is called Spreuerbrücke. It has also pretty wonderful view on the city and the river. You can see there are also different paintings. However, you for sure will notice that the paintings are a little bit different because the first one, as I said, represented basically the historic events. 
The second one is pretty in the dark colors because they basically mostly represent some things connected with the death. But again, just it's also a kind of the must to visit this second bridge too. If you really love Baroque style of the churches, the CERN is also a great place for that. So you can find completely different churches which look amazing from the outside, but also of course in the inside zone. So when you walk in them, you really enjoy all this beauty which you can see there. So highly, highly recommend. Another beautiful and peaceful place there is to visit Lion Monument. It is extremely well known, of course, in the CERN and I believe again, if you are typing some pictures of Switzerland or Lucerne, for sure you'll see that. It was built as a memory of killed soldiers in Paris in the 18th century when they protected the king. Just go there, it's not that far from the city center. It's normally pretty calm there. Just enjoy there like 5-10 minutes, it's really worth that. If the weather is great, I also highly recommend you to walk near the lake. There are lots of restaurants, cafes, small parks, very nice promenade. Just walk there maybe like 20-30 minutes one way and then return back. However, if you want to explore the lake a little bit more, I highly, highly recommend you to go on the lake tour with the ship. There are completely different possibilities. One of them lasts approximately 50 minutes to one hour and the price is around 25 to 30 euros per person. And one of the reasons why it's really great possibility is because you can not only actually explore the lake itself, but also view the city from the water. It's not only for this city, but always recommend you to choose the time when, for instance, in this case, you will go one direction when you still have the sun and on the way back, you already see some lights in the city. It's really like two in one then. Another highlight is to visit the mountain of the city, which is Pilatus. You will be able to find completely different ways how you can go up. One of the opportunities is that you go with a bus from the main train station then you will be able to purchase the ticket. Use the Hawkwheel train, which is, by the way, one of the steepest one in the world because in some of the parts the slope is 48 degrees. Afterwards, you will go with the cable car up there. The view is amazing. In case there are some clouds there, it's even sometimes cooler. Of course, you will not be able to see um, the lake and the city itself, but you will be somehow above the clouds and see the mountains. Really, I've been there once when I visited for the first time. It costs some money. Right now, I believe the minimum price will be around 80 or 90 euros per person. Going like up and up depending on the option you choose. But if you have time, if you have this money to spend, do that. Uh, by the way, the symbol of this mountain is a dragon. And the reason for that is that in the past the city didn't allow people to climb this mountain. And people thought that the reason for that is that there are different dragons which live on that mountain. That's why they are not allowed to go there. On top you can find a very nice souvenir shop with completely different stuff, but also if you are not able to go up there, in the city center there is also a Pilatus store where you can find different souvenirs and buy something for yourself. For instance, this t-shirt I bought there. And forgot to mention, the height of this mountain is more than 2000 meters. I can also recommend, if you are into this sport, is to do uh, paragliding there. As far as I could see in Switzerland, it's a pretty common thing. And I believe for this place, you just go in up to the mountain and then climb from this mountain, of course, with the professional. Wow, I believe the view is really breathtaking. Not sure 100% about the price, but it might be around 150 to 200 euros per person. Well, one of the simplest things and stuff to try local food. Just speaking about the Swiss cheese, yeah, which you can find somewhere in the city, or also Swiss chocolate. There is, by the way, an amazing shop with different kinds of chocolate, the chocolate fountains and so on and so forth. So always lots of tourists there. Just go there, maybe you will be able to find something sweet for yourself. But if you're speaking about the food, what you need to try is fondue. And if you're speaking about that, like in a few words, of course, there are different types of fondue. There is traditional cheese fondue, but anyway, there they 
add some other stuff you can just read that in the menu beside that there is a fondue with meat so basically there is not a cheese but a hot oil in the pot and um, the type number three is uh, a chocolate fondue the price is quite expensive so i believe the minimum one is around like 35 40 euros per person and by the way i also saw that uh, there is a possibility especially if you are like two people or more to order like everything there will be maybe not that much not uh, the big pots for the fondue but you can try like the cheese the meat and the chocolate fondue you'll leave there lots of money but if you are like there for the first time you want to try that and you save some money for this trip you should also try that really great experience and taste I'm not sure if you know or not, but there is like a story how fondue was, so to say, invented. In the past, shepherds went to the mountains and they didn't take that much food with them. A little bit of cheese, wine and bread. And once they were sitting there, they had very hard cheese and one of them just decided to put this cheese with wine in the pot and use bread to eat it. So this was the invention. Very simple one, it has lots of calories and now, yeah, of course, especially for the tourists, the price is like really, really high. But as I said, you must try that. Maybe you will take some souvenirs in the Pilatus store or in other shops, plus you may take some chocolate with you. What is Switzerland famous for is the Swiss knives, so you can buy one of them. Or if you were dreaming about a really good watch, maybe it's exactly a chance to buy it. Just walk there, maybe you will be able to find what you like. And last but not least, so my highlight number 15, so to say. Honestly, I still didn't manage to go there, but I heard so many positive feedback about the Museum of Transport in Lucerne. It is pretty famous. Uh, the price for the adult starts from around like 35 euros. But of course, there is also a planetarium and some other stuff, so it can go up, like, I don't know, up to 50 or 60 euros. But this is like the Museum of Transport of Switzerland, where you can find like everything. The cars, trains, planes, and uh, especially it should be really great for children, because they can play, they can touch everything, they can go to a planetarium. Well, I believe it's really great. It's not directly in the city center, so that's why I believe you have to either drive there or take a bus. But if you have time and especially children, you definitely need to go there. By the way, if you already been there, leave a comment and let me know. So what do you think? Is it really worth to try? So for the next time, in case I'm going to Lucerne, for the third time for sure, I'll visit that. I have also lots of footage of the city, so that's why subscribe to my channel and also of course don't forget to put like to this video and later i will also post this video with different scenes and very nice music thanks a lot for watching share your thoughts your experience with the city in the comments looking forward to discuss with you the city i hope to see you soon in my next video goodbye